Hey folks, River Hobo here. Uh, last Sunday, me and John, we snuck off down to High Rock for a little bit of crappy fishing. And it wasn't bad, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't terrible. Uh, started out just fishing a few brush piles, and uh, it was cloudy to start out with, so I think the crappy were kind of scattered out. And then we switched over to shooting docks when the sun came out, and then the fishing picked up a little bit. But had a little scratchiness in one of my cameras. I think the uh, microphone was put in backwards and it was kind of scrubbing against my collar. But uh, sorry about that. And then it's always got wind noise, so uh, ain't much you can do about that. But we done pretty good. Uh, mostly using crappy magnet jigs. This is the green and white. I, I like the orange head. And this is a 1 16th ounce. I like using this when I'm fishing brush piles a little deeper using Wally Marshall Pro Series Rod of this, uh, I see what this is, Sedona 1000 Reel, Mr. Crappy 4 Pound Test, and that's I think this rod's a 5 foot 6 medium, I mean light action. Knit works good and shoots good and also we're using uh, let's see, crappy magnets, the red and chartreuse 132nd ounce. I like shooting the 132nd when I'm under the docks. They shoot, they just float a little slower down, stays in the strike zone a little longer. Same thing. This is just a Gander Mountain Vortex cheap rod. It really works good. Another Sedona. This is a 2500 reel. And I think this is a 5, yes, 5 6 ultralight. It's a good little rod, cheap rod for shooting. And same thing, 4 pound Mr. Crappy. And uh, John, he really got them to hitting on this here Bobby Garden, Garland. We always call it a Cajun cricket, but I think that's kind of what he was shooting. It really worked good. But he ended up having a pretty good day. I think we brought 17 home. That's probably a, a half a pound or up to a probably a pound and a half. And uh, kind of enjoyed it. So stick with us. appreciate everybody watching. Please, if you get a chance, leave a comment or a thumbs up at the end of the video. And all you got to watch it to the end of the video because we got John's grandson helping him clean, clean these crappies, and that's a really, really cute thing. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please hit those thumbs up and subscribe. River Hobo signing out. Mm, probably got another one on here. Here to eat. Pretty good job. Oh, yeah. Don't want that last one. Yeah, very few. Tops, <laughs> so, so the bass are slow too, huh? I guess that little bit of rain slowed them down last night. Well, there's not as many shad in here as there normally is today. Yeah. Well, you see what we just did right here? We, I bet we've thrown in here 30 times. And I just switched to a heavier jig, and they're on the bottom. We was fishing over the top of it and not getting a bite. Yeah, because I noticed, uh, I was watching right here and the shad's holding right on the bottom. I guess that little bit of rain did it. Yeah. yeah. I got to get him before he gets retied because he's the master. <laughs> He gets going, I won't catch none. Yeah. Hey, I went to went something wheelless. Oh Lord. Yeah, it was terrible. I wanted to come Friday. But I figured it'd be everybody and a brother would be here and it was hot. Yeah, 
I don't think it's going to be a keeper or not. You want that one? Like I said, it's a lot better than what they used to be down here. You just have to go through 30 or 40 to catch one like that. Yeah. When they do hit it, they're sucking it down their throat. John, I believe I'm gonna let this one go back. Yeah, that's a I've seen a day where you'd love to have him. weedless thing was in his mouth. I guess he kept it. Cause it's gone. <laughs> what are you asking? I guess. I don't think he's going to like digesting that little piece of metal. You just gotta get in that one little spot. So I just grab the skirt. Yeah. Come behind me and got it. You turned him on. Yep. Got him all excited. Got him fired up. Yeah, we might call that an out too. What do you think? Yeah, we ain't after a big mountain. Look at there. They still spawn a little. Yeah. Psych me another one, John, and I'll try to kill it. Think about it, this guy can come down here and, and get all the juice he needs every evening. Yeah. He can find out what they're biting. Yeah. That's probably why you couldn't hook them. That's why I couldn't hook them before. Too bad the cat ain't here. Yeah, he loves that. Perfect for him. There's nothing on Pop it right up there in the front of it. And they ain't what you want to write home about, but they're fish. Just hold it under, just to be safe while you, well, you got a good shot. There you go. Oh, I was trying to shut on you. <laughs> this, this one is her. on that stupid reel. Yeah, yeah we take them all day on kids. Three foot deep. That's a good one there. I mean, I'm just dealing it straight up and down. I figured something out. That's a pound and a half right there. About 20 right there. What Al should have got with that girl. Got him a little pontoon. Like I say, I love that boat. 
for tournament fishing, you ain't gonna get nothing no better. Well, he'll probably fish a bunch. Me, I'm about tar fishing. I like going out doing four or four, five hours of fun fishing and going to the house. Well, I've got enough stress in my life. Yeah, without worried about catching I don't need it in there. Get him this time. I got the camera running on me. Told you. Just needed the audience. <laughs> Just needed somebody to watch. That never knocked it to you, did it? I don't believe they like that color. I'll say, I think what I've seen so far, no one I've thrown in, I think they like it. That's what our boss man, like I said earlier, always called Cajun Cricket. He loved it. That's his favorite color. They like it. <laughs> At least it's about six in a row, ain't it? In that hole there, they do anyway. Yeah, I think you've about six in a row on that hole. like a little bigger one. Oh yeah. Just took a little bit about two foot further did it. I gotta keep you in that hole, you got it figured out. I'd ever shot. That's a fish here too. Need a net? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. That was good in there. Pushing the biggest fish today there, John. Let's see that before you throw it in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Got a little. Creasing his back, look at that. Yeah, one of birds got him. Lived a hard life till John got him. Yeah. Eased his pain. Now it's gonna be a hard life. Hot life, eh? Yeah. Eased his pain. You might have found the color. Yeah, I like the light when you are shooting under the duck like that for the fact that it's going shot going yeah. but and longer. But I don't know, just like I can't get the feel for that. That's the reason I don't I hardly ever tie me in and blue mini light and stuff. Yeah. This one I got on now is about as light as I like to go. I guess you can get a little more distance on when you shoot it. When that light one I was throwing yours had a round to you and I flat. Yeah, them little flat ones. 
got back in the honey hole. I thought that was fish for sure. Maybe they moved to this side. You could think that you got me guarding the cooler up here, or you'd have a bunch in it. I can't catch one now, John. Three or four in a row on this. There you got him, didn't you? Fighting good. Oh, I finally hooked one. You don't like this, they sent wrong. Right? That's right. Exciting. Wait for just a little bit, but. Oh Lord, here comes one of them monster boats. We'll get it out here and get the front pointed toward the wind, just keep you on that hole. They were out all them things right there. <laughs> I think it's kind of like them white perch. You catch one and you get them kind of turned on. Then when you quit throwing in there, they uh, they slow down for a little bit. Come in hot and heavy. Yeah. A little, oh, yeah. Gotta keep. That's where you know switched holes on you. Like I say, I don't think it's 
it might be the color, but I think they just now start to hot. John, you might want to lay your phone in the shade here in a little bit. There you go. I don't know if it's like mine, but mine don't take it long. It gets overheated and quits. Quickly. <laughs> like Bill Dance fishing that now there, you know. <laughs> 